Hello everybody, Lady Gary to you here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we completed the final dungeon in the game. Yay! And in this episode, we're gonna uh, do some mini-games and things like that throughout Ikana Canyon. Now, it's gonna be a few videos before we get ready to take on the final boss, because there's still some heart pieces and, and some masks that we have to get. Plus, there's a couple mini games that I haven't gotten to, around to yet. So, I'm going to be taking care of those uh, throughout the next couple of videos. Um, if everything goes as smoothly as I plan, um, at, um, at around episode 45 or so. Anywho, there's some Deku Babas down here. Yay! And in here, there's Bomb Juice! Um, if you still want me to show what the bomb shoes do, don't worry. Um, there's a, there's gonna be a certain point in the coming videos that, that it actually needs some bomb shoes. So, don't worry that I'm not sewing off the bomb shoes all that much. Uh, I'm just, uh, I will be sewing what they do and stuff like that. And besides, I've, there's already a, I've already sewed off a mini game where, I already showed off a mini game where we needed them. Anyway, let's do let's use the light arrows. Yay! Yay! It seems somehow you have managed to send the Ikana's wandering spirit to peace. But outside of Ikana, there are still swarms of wandering spirits with lingering regret. The ones in this room want to meet you again, I've been waiting here for quite a while. Go see them if you feel like it. I feel they welcome you. <laughs> Alright, this place is the, uh, this is the secret shrine. It can also be referred to as Behind the Waterfall. I, pr I like to call it the Boss Caverns because, um, uh, in here we are rematching the mini the mini me the four of the mini bosses throughout this game. Starting with this guy, whose name I can never remember. Um, if I'm correct, there are two of them, I think. Um, it's, uh, with the, with our sword. Uh, wait, there's three of them? The swim with there three of them. Ah, whatever. Um, with this sword, it only takes, uh, two attacks. Um, same thing with the Great Fairy Sword. And he's dead. Yay! The funny thing is, when I was practicing for this, I was able to get on, on three out of the four uh, treasure chests. I was able to, to be on top of them when they appeared. And it was awesome. But, that didn't happen when I recorded. How sad. If you guys couldn't tell, this is post-commentary. I've been doing a lot of post-commentary because of my, my laptop. Um, my, new, my new laptop uh, does a really terrible job of keeping a stable frame rate when I am recording videos, even though most of the time the the final video looks perfectly fine. Um, so it's a pain in the butt to record some of these videos, but it's still better than that annoying bottom screen glitch that I had throughout the first half of this walkthrough. But anyway, um. Hopefully, I'll be able to figure that out. I do have an idea for what I can do to fix that. Um, if I can find these splitters, um, which I could use to, uh, to, uh, which I could use to make the video up here on both my laptop and on my television. If I could do that, then I wouldn't, then I wouldn't be able to, then I wouldn't have as many problems as I normally do. But for hopefully the final time in this project, we are fighting Wardrobe. Yay! I'm gonna punch his stupid face. Uh, with Goron, uh, if you with, using the Goron strategy, you can be, you can defeat this guy with two punches before he goes on to the next phase where phase where you'd have to uh, punch him twice again. But that's the last time we're gonna be seeing Wardrobe forever. Yay! 
Uh, each of these treasure chests contains silver rubies, but being all these things, you'll actually get a uh, piece of heart, which is the main reason why I'm bothering selling off this place. Yeah, what am I saying? Even if you didn't get a heart piece from this, I still like this place. It's this is a really cool place. It it's okay in my book. Um, this place um, it can be compared to the boss ru boss rushes, uh, nowadays, where some games have uh, this special feature where you can fight all the boss fights in the entire game. I think The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D has this, where you can fight all the main bosses throughout the dungeon. I've heard somewhere that Skyward Sword has that, but I have not seen that in that game, and I've played that game so much. Uh, it's, man, it's, not even, it's not even funny. Uh, Skyward Sword is an awesome game, it's really underrated. I understand why most people didn't like it, because it was linear, and had, and had a lot of motion controls. I wasn't too bothered with, the le with how linear it was, so, um, and uh, I really liked most of the controls for the game. The only complaint I had against most of the controls was the control both for the whip, where I didn't mind actually using the whip, but swinging back and forth on the whip and the vines and stuff like that, you have to move the remote around, and that felt a little pointless, but everything else worked perfectly fine. But anyway, enough about Scoured Sword, let's just talk about Majora's Mask. Um, we are fighting the Eye Bubble! Yay! It's Apple, it's Apple's newest product, the Eye Bubble. And stuff like that. I'm pretty sure I made a joke already, but I don't care. Um, with the Great Fairy Sword, this boss fight is a million billion times more easy. Um, and things like that. Um, after a while, um, this guy will, uh, I will lose all of his bubbles, and your life will be miserable because these bubbles are going to try and murder you. They're going to eat the flesh off your bones. Why do I keep saying that? That's gross. And he's dead. Yay! And he blew up. Yeah, that's, that's got to be really painful, to have your eyeball blown up. Yeah. It's got to be. It's got to be even more painful to have your eyeball covered in bubbles. Uh, this game is actually kind of gory if you think about it. You're shooting eyeballs and making them blow up, and ugh. and we get another silver ruby. Yay! And there's one more thing. There's one more thing that we have to take. There's one more mini boss we have to fight. I personally consider the bubble eyeball thing to be the hardest out of the mini bosses in this place. This next one is challenging and I did lose more hearts from it, but that's just because I was being stupid. We are fighting the Garo Master again. Yay! Um, same strategy as before, yet you avoid him rather than use your shield to block him. Um, I was using my a Great Fairy Sword and you know what? I have not, br I have not, uh, talked about the Great Fairy Sword at all. Um, the Great Fairy Sword is a two-handed sword, and, um, it's very powerful, it's more powerful than your upgraded regular sword. Um, but the thing it, but, but, but the thing is with it, because it's a two-handed sword, and Link is definitely not like Ike from Fire Emblem, um, uh, you could not use your shield while you're using this sword. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the equivalent to the Big Ron Sword from Ocarina of Time, but, yep, uh, it's a really, really awesome sword, but my problem with it is that it's the item, and the reason for that was because, um, the equipment screen from Ocarina of Time was replaced with the mask selection screen from this game, and they had no, and they didn't have enough time to program another screen into the game, so they made the so they made the uh, the more powerful sword a C item, because um, because if they had their sword permanently replaced, that could uh, potentially uh, that could potentially uh, freeze your progress in the game and make it unbeatable because a lot of the stuff in the game actually requires a shield. So let's just open the treasure chest. 
Yay! Batman does not have a piece of heart because we do. Yay. So let's just go into the next thing that we're going to be doing. I'm going to meet you guys back in the Econo Cannon thingy majigger. So see you guys in a second. Don't go into the darkness. And we're in the kind of canyon. Yay. He's a bird. You need to die. Yeah, I just towed him. Um, in the ghost hut, there's a ghost in here because it's a ghost hut. And they like to eat ghosts. Uh, I don't know. What rhymes with hut? Uh, no, nah, whatever. If you're seeking the one stronger than you, you find your strength here. From a group of spirits plagued with lingering regret. If you have faith in your skills and might, then try to save these landing spirits. Yee <laughs> But were there to be price to pay 30 rubies, will you still do it? You are a boy of much vigor. Defeat the ladies within the time limit and rest your souls in peace. But if your life energy drops below 3 hearts, I'll stop the mini game. Are you prepared? And we are fighting the ghost! Yay! Uh, these ghosts are actually the ghosts that Link fought in the Forest Temple in Ocarina of Time. And as you've probably guessed by now, this game was heavily influenced by Ocarina of Time. But I still consider this game to be the superior one. I mean, I like Ocarina of Time. It's just that I think this one's way better. And I really hope I do not get flamed for saying that because I'm probably in because a lot of people like Ocarina of Time and not a lot of people like Majora's Mask and that was definitely a mouthful. Ugh. For the next ghost things, we're going to be fighting two of them at a time. My strategy for fighting these is to, uh, is to put your shield up and let them bl and block their attacks twice. And then uh, when they become visible again, you want to attack them with the Great Fairy Sword. The Great Fairy Sword does a lot of damage, and it's really helpful in this place. So, that's probably like your best friend ever. You also want to make sure you have magic and arrows for the final part of this. Um, I used to struggle a lot with this minigame, but now that I'm older and much, much more handsome, I could beat this game easy. Yay! Just die already, you stupid ghost! And for the last thing, we're gonna need light arrows. We don't actually need light arrows, it's just my strategy for this. Oh my god, it's purple! Purple's the most evil color ever! And four ghosts will appear. Uh, three of them are doppelgangers, only one of them is real. It's complete, uh, it's complete chance uh, for which one it is. So you just have to be lucky like I was right there, and if you're fast enough, you can even pick up the ruby. It seems their souls have been healed. Terminal logic. Spooky ghosts plus brutal murder equals healed souls. The more you know. I give to you the earthly perception which the ladies kept. Take it, Lady Air, to you. And we get their heart. <laughs> I fear evil. And on that unusual, uh, freaky, scary note, thank you guys for watching this video of The Legend of Zelda Majora. And until next time, later gear to you. Oh yeah.